Hello moms and dads, I am Marcela Collier. I'm going to give you six strategies that I used with one of my twins that took him from being sitting on a corner, not communicating and blowing temper tantrums to communicating his needs and wants and using his words. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to subscribe. Every week I come up with two videos. One is a live and the second one is a video about parenting life and mom life. Having a dual conversation with your child, so even though they're not able to answer back to you yet, you could develop a dual conversation with them by communicating something to them and waiting for their response. And your child is going to be able to know the dynamic of communication that I listen and you talk to me and I listen and then I talk back to you that's what I started doing with with one of my twins and if he didn't answer it was okay I would just keep building the conversation until he eventually got the idea that that's how conversation is done my strategy number five is to teach your child sign language why when they are able to have a, a visual of the word they would be able to remember it easier and if they don't have the way to uh, articulate it with their mouth they could use their hands and that's another way of communication but teach them words such as i'm hungry i'm tired baba or a bathroom those words that they would need to use on a daily basis constantly. My strategy number four is to describe your child's body language. For example, if they come to you and they stretch arms asking you to pick him up, you could describe what they're doing. I see that you're stretching your arms to me. Do you want me to pick you up? And like that, they start picking up the word for Pick me up, please. My strategy number three is that I help my child building his feeling literacy. The feeling literacy is being able to recognize their emotions and verbalize them. For example, if his brother took a toy from him, I would describe the feeling that he was having. Ah, I see that you're upset because your brother took your toy. Like that, they are able to identify their feelings and it prevents a lot of temper tantrums because instead of just feeling and um, blowing the temper tantrum, they would be able to communicate with you with their words what they're feeling. My strategy number two is to introduce phonetics and alphabet in their daily routine. You could spell the words that they see on the store, that they see on the, on the freeway. And if you want to sit down with them, you don't have to spend a lot of money. I use dollar store activities. This is actually an activity that I included in my busy bag ideas for toddlers. They can go and look through the stickers and stick the object that starts with the letter that you wrote here. Stick around because the next one is going to be my ultimate tip that I use every day with one of my twins and it didn't take a lot from me. My strategy number one was to describe everything that was happening in the daily routine. The daily routine is a perfect opportunity to build your children's vocabulary. So every time I do anything for them, I describe with detail everything that I'm doing. So if I'm bathing them, I, I tell them the steps of what I'm doing. If I'm brushing their teeth, the steps of what I'm doing. And I even talk about colors, I even talk about shapes. Out of these six strategies, let me know in the comments if you are going to try one of those and which one it is. Remember mom, you got this. But you don't have to spend a lot of money. Dollar store.